Yeah, what's up, everybody? How's it going? Yeah, I appreciate y'all sharing that. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Citizen Crane. Thank you, James. Alex. On to the next one. Come on. Thank you. The Real Cody K. Thank you. Citizens Crane, my man. 10X Lex. Campania. Dude, thank y'all. Dude, I'm doing unbelievable, man. Hey, how's everything going for you? Dude, my hair is, you know, it's all right, man. I'm, I'm almost two weeks out. Ready to do the, uh, got to get a new cut over the weekend. What's happening with y'all? Yeah, good to see that, Brock. Solace, my man, Rob, sharing it. Dude, give it up for Rob, dude. That guy's unbelievable, killing deals. Yeah. Swipe right, share it. It's easy, appreciate it. What's up, everybody? Dude, have you guys had this uh, coconut water from uh, Whole Foods? I'm like addicted to it. There's some good stuff. Okay. I'm going to let a few more people get in here. What's happening with you guys today? First time on my scope. Thank you for being on. I'm going to drop some knowledge here. Hopefully it helps you out. If you're in sales, you're going you're gonna to enjoy that. Yeah. H9 water. Yeah, so what's happening? So today I want to tell you about a story. Um, this happens to me quite often. <clears throat> you know, I get on a call with people. Most of the people that I actually talk to, they are, uh, you know, they're people who are business owners. They're difficult. They're professional buyers, right? So they're like difficult against the sales guy. Really hard to get in touch with. That's why our, our, our job's so difficult and so hard. And that's why people have such a hard time with it because... You're going up against people who are actually pros on the buying side and you're trying to sell. So it's difficult and today what had happened, and this happens all the time, how y'all doing? Thanks for being here, appreciate it. Uh, you know, so basically what happened today was that somebody in my office, we've got people who set up appointments for other people who will actually pitch the deal. And so my job is basically pitch the deal. <clears throat> and so I was given, a call where somebody I was told, hey, get on here. This guy actually wants to see exactly what we do. He loves it. He's seen it before. He wants to, you know, he basically wants to do the deal. Okay, so what my company does is we provide a digital e-learning system that basically helps people practice and train and drill and rehearse and get better at sales. It's basically a, a library of content for people uh, who are looking to excel in their business as salespeople. So I was getting this appointment. I do a, a virtual screen share for somebody. I turn it on, load it up, waiting on the guy. The, you know, the guy wasn't showing up, but I could see he was on. So I'm like, well, is this dude going to call in or what? And so I'm asking the other sales guy. I'm like, dude, what's up with this guy? What's happening, man? Is he coming in? And uh, so basically what, what had happened was that he gets on there. And so I had to call his office. And he's like, yeah, I've been waiting on here. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I was waiting for you to come in. So the guy had a terrible attitude from the very beginning. And so what he was doing was giving me a hard time. He was, and, and, I, and I asked him, because I thought he had already seen our program, you know, I go, hey, so, so what are we helping you guys out with today? It's an easy question for me to kind of lead into, hey, what do you guys need help with the most? Right? What does your business need? Because every business needs something different. You know, some businesses need help closing. Some businesses need help with follow up. I mean, really, everybody needs help with all of it. But some people just know, dude, we freaking suck at this. Yeah, you know, 10x Lex is saying, dude, recruiting and hiring. I got companies who all the time say we need help with recruiting and hiring. Okay, so that's exactly what we do. We help in these different areas. We specialize in it. Right? Grant Cardone's created concepts around this for businesses for 30 years that we basically drop into companies. And help them with this. So I get on the call with the guy and I ask him a real simple question, just like, hey man, what are we helping you out with today? You know, excited, ready to show the guy my shit, ready to do the deal, ready to show him, hey, what can I help you out with? And he goes, uh, well, actually, I don't even know why we're even on this call. Uh, your guy told me you guys were gonna give me something. I'd heard of Grant before, so I said, okay. I took the call because he wouldn't stop calling me and now I'm on the call with you and he told me that you're the pro 
And now you're asking me what I need help with, right? So this guy, I'm just doing a basic fact finding like, hey, what's up, man? What's happening? What can I help you guys out with? What do you know? Right, so the guy's angry from the very beginning, okay? Do you guys ever get that? Does that ever happen to you in your business? Something completely throws you off, okay? You're going into the deal. You're going in to do what you do, okay? John Nolan says yes. Parsons, 1969, says every day, every day, yep. So I'm going to tell you guys how to handle that, and I'm going to tell you how that call ended up going. Okay, it happens all the time. And here's what I tell my salespeople all the time. So when we train and we drill and rehearse, you know, we toss out different objections, things like that, that are going to throw them off, that are going to happen. Okay, number one, you've got to practice. Okay, if you do not practice, these types of situations will kick you off your game unbelievably. Okay, number two, dude, stick to your deal every single time. If that's the most stable data you have, that you just stay exactly on what you do every time, no matter what, dude, you can't be thrown off that ever, right? Stick to your game, right? So stick to what happened. I'm going to tell you what happened, right? So I stick to my situation. I, I, I stick to exactly what I do. I don't ever let things like that throw me off, okay? Yeah, you got to stay in the deal, but stay on your deal, okay? You got to stay on what you're doing. Dude, this Lou Kane's guy. Dude, that's just how you get blocked, bro. Next time you say something, yes, it's blocked. So, all you got to do is just basically stay on your own deal every single time. So, you know, no matter if the guy throws you off, no matter what objection they have, no matter what they're doing, look, you just stay there in your lane. So, what I did was I just handled them, right? I handled the objection. Hey, man, yeah, no. I I understand completely, and, and, and yes, I am the professional in this situation. I typically just like to open it up with, is there something you would like to focus on particularly? Let me show you this and see if it makes sense for you. So then I go down my lane exactly, the same thing that I do every single time. I actually didn't change up anything. I just had used that as, oh, that's typically what I open with to find out more about you. That was just the way I handled his objection. I still went down the exact same thing that I do every single time. And so that's what you've got to do. When you're doing cold calling, when you're doing your pitch, when you're doing everything that you do every single day on a daily basis, okay, you got to stay in the exact same deal. Because if you get thrown off and you let other people uh, you know, push you out of the way or handle you in your situation, then you have nothing that's stable. So the most important thing, dude, Gary, look at your face, bro. Come on. And you're getting blocked. All right. See, these haters, man. Unbelievable. So what happens is that whenever, whenever you, uh, you know, like this guy right here, that Gary guy, dude, retard. You know, I just stay on my deal. I just keep going down my lane. I block his ass and I keep going. That's what happens in your sales cycles every single day. So now if you're thinking with, uh, you know, all these different situations that happen to you, people give you objections, people, they walk on to uh, your floor in your business or you take a phone call and then they start hammering you with all these objections, stick to your deal. I promise you it will keep you safe every single time. If the world is chaos, if the world is complete chaos and the only thing that you have is to be able to be stable with you and you be the stable one, do that every single time. Okay, and practice it, drill it, rehearse it, train it, and trust it. Trust that it works, because it will. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up to questions like, what do you guys have? What questions do you guys have for me about this? Because, <laughs> dude, I love you guys, man. See, I don't even have to take care of Gary, you guys, you guys take Gary, take care of Gary himself, but I blocked him anyways. Okay, so what questions do you guys, you guys have? Who is Scuba Steve? Dude, I don't know, man. They started calling me Scuba Steve when I came into the office. Um, so I made a Twitter handle that. Now everybody calls me Scuba Steve. Do you work with media companies? Yeah, we do. Yep, we absolutely do. We've actually, uh, we've got a, a digital media company. The guy who's going to come on after me, Rob Sislo, he is actually our media producer. Um, he knows he's going to tell you everything you need to know about that business. Uh, would you sell a product at cost? Oh man, I missed that. Talk on how you turned that around. Well, so basically the guy tried throwing me off by telling me, uh, I don't even know why we're here. See, cause my original thought was that, Hey man, this guy loves the deal, right? So I'm coming into it like, Oh, this guy loves it. I just need to maybe ask a few questions, find out what's up, find out what he wants and then just do the deal and close it. 
But that wasn't the case. I actually go in thinking one particular thing and even though I was thinking that, I didn't change what I'm actually doing. Okay, so I had some guy basically try to throw me off my path, but I stayed the same, right? So what happens, I ended up turning it around. I go down my deal, I do my pitch on my program, I show him exactly what we do, I show him exactly what we're gonna help, and the entire time, the guy changed his attitude halfway and he's like, dude, you're so freaking right. Oh my God, he's like, yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, you're right. I was on the call with the guy for 40 minutes, right? We typically don't do those calls for 40 minutes long unless it's a real deal. By the end of the call, the guy wanted to do the deal, right? Were you nervous when he objected you? You know what? The one thing that helped me handle being nervous on calls was like getting so good at doing what I was, you know, I just had that one direct path where I took my pitch I would listen to it, I would record it, I would drill it, I would rehearse it, and I practice it every single morning with the people that I work with. Because even for the top guys, it takes less than one day to get rusty. It takes one day, okay? It takes one day to throw you off, okay? You go, I could go in the office tomorrow morning if I don't practice, I don't train, I don't drill. Dude, I get on a call with a guy like that, he's gonna bust me and I'm gonna lose that call, lose that deal, and lose that opportunity. And that opportunity could cost me, you know, you know, that deal would probably be a, you know, a 40 or $50,000 deal for our company, right? So, so the way that I actually handle that and the way I feel good about myself is that number one, I practice what I do, okay? I get a plan. I gotta have a strategy, okay? Number two, I practice it. I train it, I drill it, I rehearse it. I continue to practice it, train it, drill it, and rehearse it. I get really freaking good at it and I continue to practice it, train it, drill it, and rehearse it, okay? And then I never, ever leave it, ever. Never leave it, no matter what happens to me. I handle the deal, and the, I've perfected the plan so well. Well, not even just me. I mean, my office, my company, my team. You know, we've done this so many times that we've kind of, we perfected it in a way that you can throw us off all day long, we'll still be riding our deal. We'll still be driving down the same path. You can try to throw us off the path as much as you like. And it's not really gonna happen because like, we know where we're going in the pitch. I know where I want him to end up in the pitch. I'm three steps ahead of this guy the entire time. I'm talking about one thing and I already know where I'm gonna land him two places from now because I can talk to somebody in that manner, understand what's happening in their business and then understand how my company can actually help them out and that's how good you've gotta get at what you're doing, okay? Yeah. Junker11, what's up, brother? I can't believe you're on here, man. I appreciate you showing up, dude. That's my man right there. What's up? I got like time for one more question. What is the best objection you've encountered so far and how did you handle it, dude? I'll tell you, today, actually, one of my guys was on the phone <laughs> and it was actually Bonnet, man. He called up. Bonnet called up this guy and the guy picks up the phone and he goes, hey, I want to talk to you. I want to do the deal. Where can I call you back? And so Mike gives him his information and Mike got off the call and he was like, he goes, man, he goes, Steve, that was freaking weird. He's like, the, dude, the guy wanted everything. He's like, it's, it's almost like I didn't even know what to say to him. I'm like, dude, that is the ultimate objection. And that's the power of agreement. That's how you could actually throw a, a throw a pro off their game. And you just tell them, hey, dude, I want to do the deal. I just want to, I want to do it. Get, what number can I call you at? Where can I text you? Like flip it on them. So that was pretty funny. I would say that was uh, something different. Do you agree a buyer without an objection is not a buyer? Nah, man, some people know that they need to do the deal so they don't have to object to it. I think objections are just like reasons that they may talk themselves out of it. Or um, it's something that, you know, they've had bad buying uh, process. That, that's why you guys miss opportunity every single day. That's why people don't buy from you because they bought their kid a bike and their kid didn't use that bike. And now all of a sudden, they've got this thing in their head where they think that they make bad decisions, okay? They bought their girlfriend something and then their girlfriend didn't even freaking wear it. They're like, dude, I don't even know why I bought her that $800 purse and then she doesn't even freaking like the thing, right? And then now all of a sudden I think, oh shit, I make bad buying decisions. So now every time I go to buy something, now every time I actually go to buy something, I'm thinking twice like, dude, I don't know if I wanna buy something like this because I don't know if I'm gonna use it or if she's gonna use it or if they're gonna use it or. I don't know if this is gonna be the right fit for me and like that, if you guys don't handle people's objections, that's why you can't tiptoe around people's objections. You've got to handle 
their problems, you gotta, you gotta handle them right away. Dude, if you think somebody's gonna have a problem with price, boom, tell the price up front. Hey, look, here is the price of what I'm doing. Let me show you why it's that. Okay, that needs to be the first thing. You think about the purse, yeah. Dude, any guys on here ever bought a girlfriend a purse and then she didn't wear it, they're probably questioning their buying decisions forever. You know, dude, you're losing deals. You're losing deals because of that. All right, guys, thanks for being on. Rob's up. He's going to blow it up for you. He's been killing it. Give it up for him. Don't skimp Rob on the hearts, okay, because he freaking deserves them. You load him up with those hearts. Guys, thank you for being here. You guys have a great night. Take care.